and type in the search via test type via wall so it's very very slow cool so firewall and it's searching I just wait for it all right so you can see windows firewall with advanced security you can just click on it and wait for it to open so it's opening up okay just wait for it so it does open up good so basically this is our firewall we open it windows firewall with advanced good so it has a lot so windows firewall is on so make sure it's on if it's not on just come to firewall properties and then set it up and then everything is on in bad connection that do not match okay so basically you can set rules for yourself so you can just click on inbound rule just click on it so after clicking on it you can just come here and type new rule click on it good so basically come choose the type of this so if it's a program or an application running you can choose that if it's a port number you can do that okay and then custom rule you can also choose that one too so i'm going to set up some rule for you let's say port i'm choosing port all right so i raise it up just to continue so port next and tcp you can specify all ports if you want but specific ports all right so just type port four five six seven eight nine use port four five six seven next so what should you do to port four five six seven that'll be the next thing just wait for it to load so allow connection or block connection for that so i'm going to allow connection for that and private domain you can select the ones that you want and write a name so let's say port mm, port four five six seven allow that's the name description if you want that's all and finish and let's just wait for it to show us the rule that you set good all right so you can see you can see a port port um four five six seven allow it has been allowed here can you see and it's written here nicely so when i click on it so now is that any information that is coming from this port will be allowed on your file so just click on it and then come and delete it if you want so delete all right yes delete so you can set other rules too if you want so let's say i want to set our outbound rule i'll just click on outbound rule and you know the next thing is just to click on new rule click on it Open it. I click on new rule. They just wait for it. Good. So now I'll choose a port number. Next. And TCP. Specific so port. Let's say port 8. Port eight seven eight. 
spot eight seven eight. All right, next. Sorry for the delay. This is actually slow here. I'm supposed to restart my PC, but I could just do it that way. Alright, so block, can you see block connection? Can you can just block? Alright, go. Cool. And then from anywhere if you want. And name, port, uh, just a port. 878 block and finished. Good, you can see that this is blocked. Let me just open it or well, make it maximum. Okay, so maximize. So you can see. It has block for any program, any local address, any remote address, and any the protocol is TCP, local port, any port, and then the remote port is 876. There's any allow computers, any, so it has block all computers with this. All right, so just delete. Yes. Done. All right. So just minimize it. Once you're done with it. All right. So basically, that's how to set firewall rules. You can set inbound and outbound rules. All right. So we look at practical on. Um, protection of firewalls and then next we'll look at honey pots all right see you in the next tutorial